everything. So probably after five, you're going to have a lot of company. Grayson Kirby is counting every blessing. Just um, bewildered at how much of a miracle it has been. His family is counting every answered prayer. We are just so blessed and so thankful. Karen Kirby thought she had lost her son the night of June 7th when he was thrown from a car at the Mid-Atlantic Power Festival in Rutgersville. He was basically dead when he arrived at the hospital. And he even died two times after that. Doctors at UVA had little hope. The accident had crushed Grayson's lungs and ribs, broken nearly every bone in his body. Machines were the only things keeping him alive. And I was given a uh, less than 5% chance to live. Um, and if I lived, I uh, was going to suffer brain trauma. Refusing to feel helpless, Grayson's friends and family formed a Facebook page asking people, even strangers, to pray for him. Lots of prayers, lots of prayers. His Facebook page has like 8,600 followers and they have all prayed very hard for him. Prayers turned to fundraisers, dozens of them. Sheldon Chuchi told his mom he wanted to help. I told her I wanted to do lemonade to see how much money we would get, and we pretty much got a line. So Michelle Chuchi added haircuts. Others made cupcakes, quilts, t-shirts, and handbags, all to raise funds and inspire hope. Just the support that everybody has given to, to Grayson and to his family, it's just Amazing. What's more amazing, Grayson opened his eyes for the first time on June 17th, just a few days after Father's Day. He rubbed his arm and he mouthed to his dad that he loved him. And we knew from that point on that he was going to be okay. Today, Grayson has made nearly a complete recovery at the Sheltering Arms Hospital. He says soon he'll be working again with his father on their studly farm and thanking everyone for all they've done. You just feel like you're going to let him down if you if you uh, if you do anything less than give it your all. We always knew he was special, but we didn't know he was so special to so many others. Incredible story. That was our Tracy Sears reporting. Doctors at UVA say they have no explanation for Grayson's miraculous recovery, but plan to study his case.